I quit architecture to become a photographer. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. It's been <laughs> after a month of not posting. I know I've been away for quite a long time, but I've actually been quite ill for the past two weeks and I've been bed bound. But here I am, here I am. So if you've not seen the title of the video already, I did technically quit architecture to become a photographer full time and this is my experience and this is what my journey has been like so far. Part one, expectations versus reality. My expectations of architecture school versus its reality were two very different things. Uh, I absolutely love university, apart from second and third year because Covid absolutely screwed us over so we had to study online. But apart from that, the experience of sort of designing for the first time and designing buildings for the first time was just incredible because we had complete freedom in what we could do. Whereas in reality, working in the industry was so different because I was doing a lot of the kind of mundane work um, and I had zero leeway in design and I did zero design work in the time that I worked in architecture. Speaking of the mundane work, in you know previous videos I've talked about how I had to draw toilets and windows and everything because that kind of technical work is usually needed when you, uh, for, those, for those who aren't in the industry or don't really know about architecture, how it works is I had to kind of do the tendering drawings which were kind of similar to blueprints as as you might be familiar with, they get sent off to builders to actually build the building off of. And so you have to have all of the sort of minute details in these drawings. But I think for me, one thing that kind of made it not very exciting was the actual interface itself of Autodesk Rabbit. And it was just, yeah, I don't think it was the one, personally. It's one of those things, architecture, for me, I would say you should only study it if you 100% are passionate about it or you know, like a lot of my friends who are doing the maths at the moment, they're not kind of sure of what they want to do in the future and so they, they're just kind of like sticking out, which is completely fair enough because each of our journeys are different and we're all on our own paths. So photography has always been a passion of mine, but I kind of didn't really take it seriously until I got to university when I got my first camera. And that was a Lumix, I think GX80 or 85. It was a great camera, it was a great camera, but I decided to upgrade a couple of years ago just because I kind of wanted a full frame camera. My journey at university, I started out just doing like rubbish gigs. So I remember there was this one gig I did, it was, I think I did like eight hours for like 60 pounds. And that was, that was not good. And I had strangers kind of tapping me on the shoulder, uh, asking for a photo and I was like, no, sorry, I'm actually just with this group. But yeah, I started sort of with those kind of low paid jobs and then kind of moved to engagement shoots for my friends. Uh, and now I'm kind of stepping into shooting models for campaigns. That's kind of what I'm trying to step into right now. It's been a big journey, I think so far, just because I kind of took the leap to decide not to do architecture anymore and then obviously now I'm kind of on my own. For me, photography will always fulfill me a lot more than architecture. If I was to stay in the architecture industry, I think, uh, I don't think it would fulfill me as much as photography. But having said that, you know, it's been quite fun so far and I really can't wait to see where photography is going to take me. Part two, comparison is the thief of joy. And when I first started out in photography, I looked up to all these photographers and I would just be like, my work sucks. Even sometimes now I would think that when I, when I see, you know, like Tyler Mitchell's work, when I see uh, one of my favorite photographers, Alessio Albi's work, when I see Greg Williams' work, I don't know if you guys know any of these photographers, but uh, Greg Williams, he shoots like all the celebrities at like the BAFTAs and the Oscars and stuff. And I'm just like, oh, why am I not doing that, you know? I know that I will get there one day. I think a big misconception that we all kind of have is that we don't believe in ourselves enough. 
Certainly this is something that I have struggled with ever since I started photography and even in architecture, you know, I would believe that I was not good enough. But I think there comes a point where you kind of have to decide to believe in yourself because if you don't, no one else is going to believe in you, right? And so that's kind of one of the big things that's kept me going is to trust in my own ability to create work that is meaningful to me. And we're all on our own journeys. Each person's life is as complex as the others, uh, which is something else that I've kind of been dwelling on recently. And so why are we comparing ourselves? I know it's human nature, I know it's human nature, but I just sit there and think like, why? Like, why are we, why are we doing this to ourselves? Focusing on my own journey has really helped me to create work where I don't really care that much about the outcome, but it's more about the process because that's what makes creating enjoyable. Part three, take the leap. At a young age, I lost my mum, as you guys kind of probably saw in the last video that I uploaded a month ago. Uh, but more recently, you know, a few years ago, a friend of mine passed away and it's just these things that have happened in my life that I've realised that life is so short. I don't know how to explain it, but I hope you kind of get what I'm kind of alluding to. But we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, let alone today, right? Um, it's one of those things. I think it's quite important to kind of take some time out to think about what your next steps will be. And I'm very thankful that I've had this time to think about whether I will truly be happy if I continue studying architecture or working in the industry and it is a big no for me. And that's why I've kind of taken the leap to pursue my passion which is photography. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me kind of rambling about, I hope it's not a ramble. You know, I really enjoyed making this video and kind of talking about my journey. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Just do it!